Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Thanks for subscribing and liking my videos. Today we are going to create e-commerce show promo, in the couple of next tutorial you will see how I animate, how I design this e-commerce promo animation. This is the part 1 so make sure to follow along with all the tutorial, so you can make that kind of animations. Let's start the tutorial. Open After Effects make a new composition by 1920 by 1080 pixel. I will rename this as slide 1, and the duration is 10 second long. Select the rounded rectangle tool from the tool menu, and draw a shape something like this. I will quickly align the shape into the center of composition. If you select the shape layer, and in the search box you type roundness, you will be access to the roundness of the shape. Let me take the roundness around 60%. I will import my dark gray color palette into the project. You can download the project file and other files that I use in this tutorial from the link in the description. Let's use this shade of gray. Now I will draw in another shape layer by using rounded rectangle tool. Let me change the round as to maximum value that we can get for this. Let's change the color of the shape to another shade of gray. Adjust the rotation and position for this layer. And I will apply the effect, set matte. In the effects and control setting, take matte from layer, change this to shape layer 1, now it's only visible inside the shape layer 1. Now it's time to import our product into the project. I have this nice looking Beats Audio headphones, you can use your own images. Scale it down and adjust the position. Let's apply drop shadow into our product image and adjust some parameters. Change the shadow color to our base color, opacity around 50%, distance to 75%, and softness 120%. Let's select the text tool and type our product name, in this case this is headphone. Let's adjust the font scale and position. I will duplicate this text layer, and type high quality. And change the font something look awesome. Align the font to right side. 
and change the color to nice red color from our image. I am happy with this setting. Select rounded rectangular, and change the fill color to red. Make shape something like this. Let's write the text for our button, and change the font style and color, and place it above on the shape layer. Adjust the font size until it looks good on the shape. Align the text to the shape layer. Let's use this dark gray color for our shop now text. Make a guideline to the right side of the composition, and align the text and shop now button, with this guideline. Remove the guideline, we don't need this anymore. Let's apply drop shadow effect on our title text and adjust some parameters. Change color into light gray, opacity 35%, distance 15, softness 30. Let's import the arrow image into the composition. Apply the fill effect on this arrow image. Make a small circle, and adjust this arrow inside the small circle. I want to rotate this arrow to the opposite direction. Open scale properties for the arrow image. Unlink scale proportional, just add a negative mark to the first scale, and link them again. Parent this arrow with small circle, and adjust the position if needed. Let me place this arrow at the right bottom corner, and again align to the right side. Select the image, make a keyframe around 20 frames, come to the beginning, and move it down like this. Open the opacity property, set a keyframe, a few frames back, and set opacity to 0%. Let's easy ease them. Open the graph editor, and select the position keyframes, and change the speed graph something like this, so the animation will start faster and end slower. I have added bold text into the background, but I don't like this at the end so I skipped the part where I added this. Select the both title layers, open the position property and set keyframe. A few frames back, and adjust the position something like this. Open the opacity property, set a keyframe. 
go few frames forward and set another key frame. At the first key frame, set the opacity to 0%, select all key frames, and easy ease them. Open the graph editor once again, and make it as we did before. Select the Shop Now button, and Share Layer, make key frames for position, 10 frames back, down it like this. Open the Opacity property, set a key frame, few frames forward and set another key frame. Open the graph editor once again, and make it as we did before. Let's animate this rounded shape with the help of position. Something like this. Let's easy ease them. Open the graph editor once again, and make it as we did before. Check the preview. Let's adjust the Shop Now button's timing. Cool. Select the circle shape, open scale properties, set a key frame. Go 10 frames forward and set another key frame. Go 3 frames forward and set another key frame. Set the second key frame value to 30%, first key frame value to 0%, and the last will remain at the 25%. Let's easy ease them. Open the graph editor once again, and make it as we did before. Cool, we got this bound scale animation. Maybe we need to change the arrow color to something dark blue, just to touch another color. Now let's add the glass effect. Make an adjustment layer. Apply transform effect on this. Set the scale value to 110%. Draw a mask like this. Select both top points, and move to the right side. Open the mask option, add a key frame to the mask path. And move the mask out of the composition. 
go forward in time, and move the mask to the opposite side of the composition. Let's make a null object, and link everything with the null object. And scale this null object down around 85%. Check the animation, and we are done. In the next episode we will design and animate this slide. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like please, hit the like button, and consider subscribe. So I can continue making videos like this. This is Motion Studio, and I will see you in the next video.